Hello, this is the AVIT department, Westminster Computer Lab. Today I just wanted to show how you can help to organize or design um, a uh, framework of a project or design curriculum using a mind mapping tool. Uh, the particular mind mapping tool that's available at Westminster United Church uh, is called FreeMind. And actually this uh, mind mapping tool is not only available for Linux but also available for Windows. So if you check out the main uh, Westminster Lab resource guide, um, you can go to under resources to find out where you can obtain it for free for home use. Anyways, today in the lab, we're just going to demonstrate quickly how this works. So to open it up, you point and you double click onto the FreeMind application, which has a butterfly icon. And it'll take a few moments to actually load up. When it does load up, uh, you have a blank uh, mind map, uh, which uh, basically has what is called a, a, a node or object, uh, which is called the root node, meaning it's the beginning, like the root of a tree. In this case, it says new mind map. In order to change it, you click onto it, and now you can change to name your own particular starting point. For ours, it's going to be the computer lab, and I'm just going to give a demonstration of how I can branch out and get and sort of flesh out ideas to try to communicate what this computer lab does. To click outside or press enter, um, it returns to the non-editing window and now I can proceed with adding in different objects or branches out to different objects. Uh, you do that by pressing the insert button and it creates a branch. In this case I'm going to say well one of the things that the computer lab can do is document creation and what type of document creation there are several different types of documents uh, right off the top of my head I think what the church can do uh, one is uh, word processing and again I create this by pressing the insert key now you have to be careful where you go to actually create uh, the different uh, branches or sub branches or nodes or sub nodes um, you have to always be aware where the focus is, and you just change the focus by pointing onto a different object. For example, if I was under uh, Computer Lab and I press the Insert key, it would branch off a of Computer Lab, but that's not what I want. I want to branch off another idea uh, from Document Creation. One way I can do that is repoint onto the node and press the Insert key. And it opens up the other node, and in this case, I can press, uh, I can type in something like uh, another element, like uh, desktop publishing. Another way I can do this without having to move over to set the focus to document creation is simply just press enter a couple of times and it will open up another note. So press enter to accept the, uh, my previous uh, editing window after typing in desktop publishing and then enter one more time to open up a uh, node that's more um, perpendicular or uh, adjacent to, to the ones that I'm actually working with. So say the last type of document creation are slideshows. Now I'm finished with that particular branch. Now I'm interested in opening up another branch to deal with audiovisual. So I'll set my focus back to Computer Lab and press the Insert key. Notice that it moves over to the other side. And I'm just going to type audio slash visual. And press Enter or click off of it to uh, get out of the edit mode. Now I'm going to press the Insert key again. Well, is on the focus of audiovisual. I'm going to type in music. I'm going to press enter and enter one more time and type in videos. Let's say I want to type in spreadsheets. Uh, so press enter and spreadsheets. The only problem here is spreadsheets don't really belong in audiovisual. I made a mistake interested in actually having it go over to the other side. How can I do this? Um, well, you can use the control up arrow key or down arrow key to move the location of spreadsheets um, within this particular object or node, or I could use the control right arrow key to actually change 
its uh, its location. And as you know, if I and as you see, if I just kept on pressing Control Right Arrow Key, it eventually goes into the right location. I'm just going to place it down underneath Word Processing. So I'm going to press the Control Up Arrow Key. So there's a lot of um, great advantages to this. A lot of great flexibility. And again, if you're interested in all the neat little shortcut keys and techniques, you can visit the uh, Westminster Computer Lab resource page, which comes up by default if you open up any web browser in any account in the uh, Westminster uh, Computer Lab and find out uh, how to get fancy. When it comes time to saving, uh, you uh, should save at least um, in the uh, uh, default form. I'm going to call this Computer Lab, and this is saved as a mind map file, uh, which has the extension .mm. You also have the ability to save in other formats or to export into different formats like uh, uh, pictures, PNG, or JPEGs. Something is a matter of interest, uh, great interest, to tell you the truth, is that uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, save these as images to post up to things like wikis. For example, if I move over to another desktop, here's an example of a mind map that's already up on a wiki, and you can set up the wiki to display the mind map and have uh, use uh, something that's called Java to actually have it construct and view uh, the mind map itself without having to have saved an image. It actually constructs this and uses the image itself. And there's a lot of advantage, advantages to this. You can actually um, change the size, the shape. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can um, actually um, uh, collapse nodes or objects or expand them. This is very, very useful. If you're interested in knowing how to do this in a wiki, you, um, please take a look at um, additional YouTube videos that we have when working with wikis. Another example, you can go from the very simple to the very complex. Here I have a wiki that shows a mind map, uh, but it has links to it, so it doesn't take up the entire page. So if I click on to uh, House and Upstairs, and I click on to the particular link, it loads in another um, mind map. And you can always go back to the original one by clicking on to the back button. So these mind maps are very, very useful uh, when it comes time to uh, sharing an idea, working in a group to actually uh, build curriculum, decide how to uh, work on a project and how to tackle a project, or other things like in the next uh, desktop here. Uh, to have a basic mind map to show an overview to help to actually start to design the curriculum for, let's say, uh, Christian education or the CE department. And that way they can set up the, uh, the curriculum and use it as a tool to start to uh, design ways to deliver their Sunday school lessons, for example. Anyways, uh, this is the AVIT department. We just wanted to show you today that there is a tool that's available in the lab to help you work as a, in a group to uh, solve problems and to uh, do things such as design curriculum. Uh, happy volunteering and uh, have a nice day.